Okay. So the challenge around for October for Leo is uh, for many of you, you may be dealing with a situation that is in limbo. Um, that's what I'm seeing. It's like, cause you've got the hanged man. Um, you know, and it's like you got one foot on this side of the fence and one foot on this side of the fence. You're straddling that baby. Um, so there, you know, there's a situation that maybe it's not completely over and one that is in the, you know, first phases, you're in the beginning of something else. Um, and I feel like this is a challenge because some of you are disappointed by the time frame on this, or, or maybe you expect it to be out of this period of kind of waiting around. Um, maybe you, you expected to have something done by now, but you've run into issues. So, I mean, this can be everything from a relationship that's kind of stalled out. Um, a decision you're waiting on from someone else. Um, maybe some of you are waiting to hear back from a job if you interviewed in September. Um, you know, and with that kind of stuff, with, if, when you're waiting on answers from somebody, uh, this is very much October energy because we do have Mercury retrograde. And many of you who are regular uh, followers of astrology know what that means. Uh, breakdowns in communication, hearing back from people can take longer. Um, you know, travel, there can be issues around that, delays and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, some of you, uh, you know, you may just want to shoot someone an extra email if you're waiting to hear back from someone. Um, you know, if you can't move forward until you get an answer from somebody, you know, you may want to kind of stay on them. It's, it's, it's kind of the indication that I'm, that I'm getting here. Um, Others of you, it may be that you just, you're having trouble seeing something from someone else's perspective, but in order to fix this or to fix a relationship, if it is a relationship issue, because again, it will be different for all of you since there's so many of you, um, until you can see a situation from a, a different perspective or from someone else's viewpoint, you're not going to be able to fix it. So, um, and that can be difficult for anyone but you are a fixed sign. So for the fixed signs, it can be um, even more difficult to sometimes see things from someone else's point of view because you are so entrenched in your viewpoints. You have such defined opinions about things. Um, so, I mean, a lot of you are just gonna have to kind of ask yourself, you know, how, how much do I want something to be fixed? If I want something to be fixed, then I'm gonna have to, you know, and again, pride comes into play here and we know who is the most prideful sign, Leo. So, yeah, I mean, there, there may be, you know, the solution is a disappointment is what I'm getting here. The solution to getting out of this limbo or to changing circumstances in some area are going to require you to sacrifice your pride, sacrifice your viewpoint. Um, and that's your challenge. Uh, in the month of October. Again, with the challenge, uh, I, I, a lot of people are like, oh God, this sounds like a terrible month whenever I hear the challenge. This is just an energy that may come in and out during the month, or you may deal with it at the beginning of the month and be done with it by the end of the month. You know, it, it's different for everyone, of course, but yeah, don't assume that, oh God, if the challenge is that, then. And honestly, there have been worse challenges with the other signs. So just trying to give you a little, give you a little perspective here. That word keeps coming up. But no, a lot of you, I see you trying to push forward. You're trying to move forward in some way. Some of you may physically actually be trying to move, trying to travel, trying, maybe you are traveling in October. And again, the Mercury retrograde with the delays and things like that come into play. So if you take in a plane, make sure you check those flights before you leave. If you're going, if you're driving, make sure you check your tires, get the oil changed, make sure everything's in working order. Um, you know, if you are driving, you're going to hit traffic. If you are flying, you're more than likely going to have uh, delays due to weather or, you know, some unforeseen event. Um, but, it, you know, it doesn't have to involve travel or, or uh, moving, you know, for all of you. Um, it can just be any big shift or change, changing jobs, changing relationships, changing, you know, your viewpoint on something, your, how you see your value someone else or a situation. Um, the thing is, is that, you know, there's some sort of facade that is being maintained with the tower card reversed. This, this card means that there, that lies or deceit are staying in place. So either you or someone else 
is not seeing the truth of a situation and, and it's connected to these these movement rooms so again maybe um those of you who are moving, maybe there's something hidden about the house that you're moving into or the property that you're looking to buy or the apartment that you're moving into. Maybe there's a railroad track and trains come by every morning at like 2 a.m. Or, you know, maybe, um, you know, there's a, a lot of planes fly over at really inconvenient times and it's really loud. Um, maybe the neighbors are awful. So those of you who are, who are moving, there's something that you may... Um, discover in uh after october that you're like oh my god i don't know if i can live with this you know or maybe it's something about the property itself something wrong so definitely cross your cross your t's and dot your i's in october definitely get a good inspection on anything you're looking to buy if it's an apartment make sure you know turn on all the faucets flush all the toilets make sure that you can kind of you know see how much work a place is going to be um some of you may be deceiving yourself in that, you know, a shift or a change was a good idea. Maybe someone else is saying, I don't think we should have done this. I don't think we should have rushed into this. And you're just like, no, no, it's fine. Or maybe the other person, maybe you're the one saying, I don't think we should do this. And they're like, oh, no, no, it'll be fine. Again, I can work both ways, but that's the energy around. Someone's like, someone's deceiving themselves and everyone else or you know trying to deceive everyone else that this was a good decision um yeah just check that fine print if you can avoid moving in october i would if you can get out of a deal uh that does not look good in october or revise it if any contracts are being signed this includes starting new jobs you know definitely read that fine print make sure that you know what all is expected of you what the hours are what the schedule is um and all of that stuff um now this is not to say if you have to take a job in in october then you know you've got to do what you got to do but um those of you who can maybe put it off until november i would highly recommend it just because actually the end of october really because mercury will be direct that last week of october so that would be better than than any time before that but again you got to do what you got to do um, just make sure you're not deceiving yourself or others. Um, yeah, there's something hidden going on. There's something, there may be something hidden about travel. I mean, some of you may, you know, some of your, your mate may be saying they're going one place and they're not really going another place. Knowing this, maybe you can turn this card around and, and find out the truth. Maybe it's you. Some of you are saying you're going somewhere and you're really not going that place. Um, again, it can work both ways. But um, for October, I see that, you know, whatever deceit is there will be, will, for most of you, remain in place. This can be self-deceit or, or others. So just be aware of that, uh, Leo. It is around a shift or a change, a trip or a move of some sort. Um, something, the truth is not being, it's being hidden uh, in some way here. But help that's going to be available to you. I do feel like those of you who um, need advice on this new beginning or maybe if you need to talk to a lawyer maybe if you need to get yeah some sort of legal advice talk to someone about um you know maybe he's going to a bureaucratic institution for help with something uh you know you are going to get the information that you need to move forward um some of you, this may be dealing with school stuff, like if you're in college or, or you know, in school and um, you have any tests in October, you may do very well on something that you were not thinking you would do well on. Uh, you may be, um, you, you may think, oh God, I'm going to horribly fail this test and you end up doing way better than you thought. Those of you who have certification tests and things to take in October, you may be scared about it because maybe you're watching all the stuff about, oh, God, Mercury retrograde and eclipses in October and I have to take this certification test and I'm afraid I won't do good on it. I think you need to do better than than you're thinking. Um, definitely keep up, you know, keep studying up until that time. But I, I do think you're going to do better um, than you're thinking you're going to do. Some of you, you may be talking to someone online. 
because uh, this is also the internet card. You may be talking to someone online and he's coming up as a king of cups, reversed. Now, for some of you, this may be someone from your past, but with the king of cups reversed, he's somebody who is not the most honest person. But what I feel like is that, you know, in the month of October, then this may be the deceit that's kind of staying in place. You know, for right now, I do think he is going to give you good advice. He's just not a very trustworthy guy. And again, it's going to, it doesn't have to be a male, but uh, for most of you, it's coming up as a king of cups, which would be a water sign. So this is going to be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a cancer man, um, you know, and uh, that sort of energy could also be a rising sign. But um, yeah, this is somebody that you, it's like he may give you good advice and help you with a creative project, with a new beginning. You may feel like this is a good friend, but then you find out something about him that you're like, whoa, I don't know if I can trust this person or, um, you know, because he is presenting as somebody that you need more information about or you need to investigate a little further <laughs> before. If if he is somebody you're thinking about pursuing a, a relationship with. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think about that. But no, he does give good advice. There is, I feel like this in his area of expertise, um, he would be able to help you or put you in touch with the right person who can help you. Um, either find out information, uh, you know, figure something out, uh, maybe figure out the situation that you're kind of in limbo about. Um, so you are gonna have somebody who can help you even if maybe they're not gonna turn out to be relationship material. Uh, they do seem helpful. Uh, regarding uh, a new beginning that you're trying to facilitate, you're trying to push forward. What has to be accepted about October um, is that, you know, finances are going through a period of um, change here. And my cat is chewing on the Halloween tree. <laughs> That's a problem. Anyway, uh, yeah, your, your finances... There's something that you can do in October that would improve your finances with the Three of Pentacles, um, you know, and this could be, yeah, just stabilizing things a little bit more. And that could be why you have to put something in limbo. Maybe you can't push forward. Like, let's take this example of if you've moved and you have a home that you're working on. Maybe you can't push forward with all the plans that you want to do. Maybe you can't move in October. So you have to kind of put off looking. Maybe there's a trip that you are wanting to take, but you can't afford to take it now because there's something wrong with the house and expense comes up that you have to deal with. Um, there is a way to improve your finances, but you will have to give up something that is maybe relatively a big change or something that you were really wanting to have done. Um, yeah, there's some door that you're walking through in October where finances are concerned that can improve them. And so just keep that in mind, uh, Leo. You can improve your finances in October by giving up something. That may be the sacrifice that was coming up here in your challenge. It's not going to be an easy thing to give up, but, but it has more to do, I, what I'm feeling is it has more to do with an outcome, a certain outcome that you wanted or a certain project that you wanted done by a certain time. Well, maybe you have to put that off for a little bit longer. Um, you don't, because you have to eat. You do have to eat. Um, but I do feel like a change is needed in October with spending and finances and saving and figuring out a way to handle your money a little bit better here, Leo. Um, by the end of October, I think you will have a plan in place. Um, you will have adjusted to kind of, um, have a, you will have adjusted things to account for whatever expenditures that you've had to, to deal with. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, um, you know, there there may be, again, you may again have to pick and choose. There is one project or something that you can move forward with, but other things may have to fall by the wayside. For some of you, maybe you were thinking about having children and you decide, well, we can't really afford it right now because um, this is a fertility room. So, um, or maybe those of you who have been trying, maybe you find out that you're, that you're not. Maybe this uh, information of the big change, the big shift is you thought you were pregnant, but it turns out that you were not. Um, you know, it doesn't mean you won't be in the future. It just means that this has to be put off. So, yeah, mostly for October for you, Leo, I just see delays. I do see you getting help or advice 
on a problem or, or an issue that you do, you know, you do need to kind of seek out. It's not your area of expertise. You do need to talk to somebody about it or find out kind of the way through this. But ultimately, if just consider October a month of, um, okay, we just got a kind of a holding pattern here. <laughs> I've got, I got a holding pattern here and, um, you know, we'll go full steam ahead in November, but for right now, you got to kind of back it up. Your new beginnings are still going to happen. You, the, what you're wanting to occur is st still going to come to fruition. The luck that is surrounding those it, it, or that you felt was surrounding those, maybe when you started or initiated something, it's still there. Just the end date is, is going to have to be pushed out a little bit. Most of you, because of financial reasons, that's what's blocking you, um, you know, or maybe it's just timing for, for other situations. But um, it's still going to happen. It's just a little further off. You may have to adjust the time frame on this, Leo. 